what's up everybody, my name is Trophy, not the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds. We're still in Cauldron Absalom, inside of Thunderstrom, a very active volcano, on our way to, uh, well, confronting the daemon and see if the daemon is actually Hephaestus or even a separate entity on its own. So we need to go down. So it does seem like we have kind of a path don't see one immediately. There is a path over here. Maybe I should just take the path. That sounds like the best idea. And then we have... More fancy machinery. A bit of supplies. Kind of feel like they're stocking us up for something. There's nothing here. Dropping down. This look like, looks a lot like volcanic... Rock. Explore the cauldron complete. Activate another console. I'm just gonna get all this. And override again. I'm starting to get the rhythm here. To any human responder, the reconfiguration of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the daemon. And it may have found one. Yeah, overloading the entire place and blowing it up. But we're inside. Okay, another audio from the s probably from Kenny again, the swarm. November 28th. Operation Enduring Victory is all over the news. The Thanos swarm is coming. It has to be what Anita is trying to hide Firebreak from. But that means she thinks we'll lose. That the swarm will reach Yellowstone. My god. In that scenario, pretty much everyone dies. Everyone except Cyan. So Anita was trying to hide, so that was what I thought. So she was trying to hide the heat signatures of the facility to keep it away from the Pharaoh Swarm. And it looks like she kind of succeeded. Help your allies cross the recycling she area. Dumped here to be melted down. Efficient. We need to get across that gap. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to go over. Somehow. Ooh. Yeah, it looks really, really bad. Oh, that's a tall neck. The platform we're standing on. So I'm gonna go for my older outfit again, since that's been really effective. So let's just propel down. Stay quiet. There we go. And then what? So I went down to now be able to climb back up again to the other side, I presume. Don't don't seem to be anything else here. Aha. Uh -huh. Wonder if I can destroy that. Oh, going back up. That always looked a bit weird to me, design-wise, why those things would just follow, well, form a path. It's not really a natural way of uh, moving things around. Okay, so that goes up and down. Let's stand on it. Move back up with it. Yeah, jump, Aloy, jump. Okay, there we go. Jumped up this time. Oop. Okay. Slight squeal. 
Because she does something weird if she sees she can uh, actually reach the... Oh, those things go sideways too. Oh god. Woo. Oh god. Okay, there we go. Looping the other way around and that should bring me to the other side, I presume. Don't want to waste too much time here. Just to be honest, it's one of the least interesting things in Horizon Zero Dawn. No, 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 no. I am pulling my stick harder down than I can. And it's still... She's still climbing up. Okay, here's the thing I need to override. We're getting there. We're getting there. I should cut off the vent up there. Okay, so now we can cross. Yeah, we're not out of the woodworks yet. So let's go back. And now I need to use it as a way of crossing. Crossing, crossing, crossing. <laughs> what the hell is... Okay, that was... I don't think the game was supposed to be doing that. <laughs> Okay, um, Aloy? Yeah, okay, she's a bit confused now. There we go. I feel like there's machines right underneath me. And there we go again. Um. No, you shall not. He saw me, but... There we go. And then the other one. There we go. So yeah, the hard point arrows are clearly the way to go. gonna keep the stealth armor on for a little bit longer so I think I can actually just take him out from here goodbye dear friend oh god no oh, I hate when she does that I really really hate when she does that it's kind of ripe for a mini heart attack that was a really weird move and I think we're getting there. Shock coil. Don't see or hear any more right. watchers. Grab a ride. There we go. I can actually swap my, my outfit while I'm hanging here. Yeah, I can. Sure can. There we go. Ah, I love these little quiet moments where you can take in the views, because look at this level. Seriously. Even though it's pretty simple to get through it, it's still amazing. Um, do I need to drop down at any point? Okay, so now I'm down, but I haven't made a bridge yet. So I'm guessing I can jump down here and then... Yeah, there we go. Overriding. And now Orea and Agatak. They seem like that way to me. For now, at least. Well, sometimes they open doors, but that's pretty much it. There we go. Speaking of doors, the next one. Open up. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Next piece of the puzzle. Close now. Lost goodbye. One last exchange for the Via chat attached to this entry in case Via ever finds this. We'll never see her again. Neither will Cyan. Okay, so let's check that out. After I put the pieces together about the swarm, there's a million things I could have done, contemplated my own death, 
contacted everyone I've ever known and loved, gotten drunk. But of course, being me, I obsessed about whether or not I should text Anita. Whatever resistance is being mounted against the war machines, she's part of it. Who am I then to bother her? Would she even be able to respond? If she's dealing with the military, would her communications be monitored? So she was part of Project Zero Dawn. We might have read about her then, but I don't remember. But she saved me the trouble. Gotta admit, I was a little disappointed when her message didn't consist of I always, lo I will always love you. Instead, she wanted data samples from Cyan's confidential log, the one that pertains to emotional responses. Under any circumstances, I would have refused. The very thing we had tried to keep secret for years and she wants to share it. But I sent the log because she wouldn't ask if she didn't, didn't need it. I can't understand why though. Sounds like she's helping to develop an AI, but how could that possibly help stop the swarm? I guess I'll never know. There was so much I wanted to say to her, but none of it seemed fair. I'm guessing she has her hands full trying to save the world, and frankly, I remember that feeling. In the end, I settled for an ineffectual confirmation, hoping against hope that she would cast aside my fears. Nope. Is it as bad as I think it is? Worse. Go be with your sister and tell Cyan that I said goodbye. So that's it, untold destruction awaits, billions of lives, my own, my family's, and yet my mind keeps coming back to Anita. I'll never see her again, feel her touch, hear her voice, no final embrace, no closure. That desire to end things properly, that need, shames me when I think about my dithering over Cyan. I've gone over every possible scenario, every possible version of the speech, trying to predict how she'll react when I tell her, well, what I needed to tell her. But that's the thing, I can't predict her reaction for one very simple reason. She's human in every way that matters. I've got to be there for her, to give her the moment she needs. Just like the rest of us, it's the very least she deserves. So that's the end of a very sad, incomplete love story. And since I don't think there's anything we need to be re that needs to be revealed right now, I'm guessing this is pretty much the end. Yeah, we can hear the daemon. The voice of the daemon indeed. So let's fill up completely on health. And go inside of the facility here. I do wonder how warm we're having right now, because it doesn't seem like we should be able to survive so close to the lava. But let's head inside. Whoa, okay. Why is the camera offset like that? It's a bit weird. It's a spirit present. So before we interact with that, there is another log over here. Cyan Access. As Acting Chief Digital Security Officer and Interim AI Administrator for the Firebreak Project, I hereby state to have updated your peculiar pattern for the Cyan Regulatory AI on 17th September 2064 according to procedure to ensure against tampering, meddling, disarranging or outlandish mischief of any kind. So, such as with previous updates, after the source node has been activated, the remaining data nodes must be path to establish a flow between adjacent intact nodes. To then connect back with the source node, Jürgen Holm. Which means we're gonna have to do another one of those puzzles, because yeah, there are things on the floor. Because there's, oh yeah, the frost claws in there. Or whatever is hiding in there. The shard salvager skill allows you to disassemble resources and modifications into... Yeah, okay, I know that. I know that. Put it away. Let's... Override the source node. Here we go. Let's uh, do some more puzzle solving, I presume. Okay. So as with last time... I'm going to try and think about a way of getting this out of here. So I think this must be correct then. Security threat confirmed. So there we go. We're looping around the outside. So going through the inside. Going to the outside when we get to the red one. 
following the outside, then we get to this one. It takes us over there. Preparing countermeasures. This one, so he's preparing countermeasures. We're gonna try to ignore that. Let's quickly do the last one. There we go. It worked. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Cyan, okay. Spirit of the blue light. It's Orea. Your servant. Your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Orea, the daemon is building hunter killers. Thousands of them. The Frost Claws. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core camp. I will try to read the hidden constraints. One has been exposed, but I am incorporating the So there we go, confirmed that it's a Festus. Not something in between. Kinda obvious now that I think about it, but. We got our task ahead of us. That's all we're gonna get from here. Destroy this fortress. Is that even possible? And what will happen to the spirit if we do? Well, she herself told us that the was a way to keep it from exploding core. everything. The answers are down there. Ooh. Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. I'm scared about those elite units. You. To let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But I already know the answer. Come on, guys, you're gonna get out of here alive, both of you. I hope. Then lead us into battle. So, she was talking about elite units being released. I'm thinking the hunter killers are the frost claws, so elite units must mean there's another version of the frost claws. Keep moving towards the core. I think I'm fully healed up. Yeah, because I can't pick them uh -oh. up anymore. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Okay. More supplies, but I don't need to go in this direction. Ah. Just need to go down there, jump across the lava, okay. obviously. Science said something about restraints. Huh. Is that what the tower is for? So there is a pulse. That's where the tower is probably used for. So next time it opens up, it's gonna get a Fiscula Arrows. There we go. Oh, that actually completely frees the core. And then it goes into lockdown, obviously. What the hell is that? Oh! The new unit that Cyan warned us about. This oh my easy. god, it's double the double the size. Oh wow! But there's watchers all around as well.
Fine by now, fine for now. Okay. Oh, wow. It just turned around. There is stuff on his ass. Oh, shit. Jesus. Come on. I think I'm gonna go for the blast bombs because this is not doing much. Oh, I got rid of a few of the batteries in the back. It's not doing anything, the blast bombs. So not the go-to for this time. Let's put a few arrows on there and charge it up completely. Zoom in. And on the chest. I think it exploded. Now onto the shoulders. Maybe I should go with uh, their blast arrows. I don't even know where it is. Yeah, got it. Oh, God. Just trying to tear off as much armor plates as I can. Now let's just start blasting away. Oh, wow. I feel like if I charge it up, it does more damage. It just homes on you, doesn't it? Ow. I think I hit him, but... There's something on his arms rotating. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
The homing on this guy is ridiculous. Oh, come on. There we go. So now there's something open in his arms. A little true. There we go, shoulder down. Come on, charge it up, charge it up. Ooh, it just disappeared. You spoke of the tower. What must be done with it? Um, well, um, before we do that, holy shit, a fire claw. That gave me a few things. Way too much, but holy shit. Um, uh, 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 okay, let's just override this thing then. Wow, that was a fight. I'm holding the button down even though I probably don't have to anymore. Okay, I released the button by now. Oh, she's gonna sacrifice Eric? herself. Sion, please help me! Ooh, that's not gonna be good. Destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Okay. Ow, my eyes. Orea, I'm free. You must escape. Come on, guys. Uh, uh, my sister. Damn it. I'm gonna have to leave. Where the place is gonna go. Our talk. Our talk. Wake up, buddy. Artuk. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Come on, pal. Get up and run. Let's go. Let's go. Then go already. Okay. Control for me. Good 
Luckily, I, uh, I did take care of the fire claws uh, loot beforehand. Okay, that was a very short walk. One of those? It's the only way. Just hang on. She was never gonna be able to reach that. And for him as well. Do you even know where that's going? Uh, by the way, I'm hoping the facility doesn't cause the volcano to erupt. Holy shit! Um, that's not good. Hey, there we go. I'm perfectly fine just watching this right now. I need explosive ammo. Above, quick! You have plenty in your inventory. Oh wow. Oh god. Whee! Okay, you would be dead. Uh, especially with that avalanche following you. Yeah, they're not buried in the av under the avalanche some reason but at least two of the three got out wow okay that was a hell of a ride look there's even a little like that there's this craggly area above the snow where the lightest of snow is lying even that is in there Ah, sorry, I, we just went through a tragedy and I'm talking about the visual fidelity of the snow. But it still looks good. Rhea's gone. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the Auxiliary Center. I think she meant Rhea's retreat at the end of the Shaman's Path. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. We will be there, Atak. We will be there. Because I think we need to give you your chieftain hood back. Because we're. I mean, Aloy is not going to stay there. <laughs> but wow. That was something. Oh, so we're going there automatically. If I'm seeing this correctly, we are. Return to Aurea's retreat. Um, well, well, look at this view. Before we do that, I'm gonna take a little break. Because uh, we've been going on for a while. So this seems to be the ending of the DLC pretty much already. So uh, when we get back, we're going to go to Aurea's retreat. And um, yeah, pay our final respects to our dearly departed friend we've only known for a few days. But uh, thanks again and obviously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.